Some areas on the Cheyenne River Reservation are being hit hard by the flooding. Kelloland Sarah McDonald gives you a look at areas near Whitehorse and Promise. This is a look at BIA 3 between Whitehorse and Promise. Ice chunks now block the road and vehicles are unable to travel through. The further you get down the river towards Promise, uh, the worse it gets. The Morrow River flows through this area. Many people have evacuated their homes. We've had to ha hire helicopter uh, aircraft supply out of Timberlake to come in and, and get a few people out. Some needed medicine. Mitch Schollerman lives just east of Whitehorse. He has moved some of his vehicles and equipment to the road above his place. Just to get it out of, on safe, safe ground, I guess. Because if it, if it did hit that high level, you don't have time at that time. So just trying to prepare. Thompson thanks communities coming together to help during this time. You really don't want the disasters like this to happen, but one good thing about the community of Whitehorse, when something like this happens, we all come together and work together. So that's, we're, we're thankful for that. On the Cheyenne River Reservation, Sarah McDonald, Kelloland News. Thompson says they expect the Morrow River to crest either tonight or tomorrow. People